Um, great to talk to you as well here today, and uh, I wish you the best with Cage Muay Thai. You're an ex-Bellator fight, and uh, as someone said on the Reddit thing, hurry up and get back on Joe Rogan. Yeah, and then they, and then they said no disrespect to your podcast though. Yeah. <laughs> but um, thanks um, a million. Uh, yeah, I was very, I was very lucky the Joe shared the the photo of the, the head kick knockout. Uh, yeah. two days ago. So through that, I've, I've picked up another extra thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, he's the man. The power of Joe he's Rogan. Such a good guy too. Uh, I've been very, very lucky to be on two podcasts, and then we we hung out in Melbourne when Ronda fought Holly Holm. Um, after the event, um, we went for dinner. And he's such a superstar, but at the same time, when you talk to him, he's just one of the fellas. Yeah. He's just that irregular, regular guy that just likes a joke and has a chat, and you can just bounce off him all night because he's. We have the same interests at heart, which is fighting. And um, yeah, there's no ego. He's just one of the boys. It's really cool. He's really a good guy. He's a lot of. It was always a lot of talk with Joe Rogan about how well he'd do in a fight, and he looks a lot of videos he posted there. You've sparred with him, you've trained with him. How would Joe Rogan do in a competitive fight? Oh, he, he's a man. Uh, if he got you to the ground, he'd turn you inside out and upside down and turn you into a pretzel. He's a he's 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 a killer. I don't know if you've seen the stuff with with uh, Dwayne Ludwig where he does yeah. the back kicks and the yeah. slow kicks, and he's got some power. Yeah, um, power, yeah. When 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 I trained with him, he had a, a bulging disc, and there was there was chance that we weren't even going to train at all. But he said, "Oh no, I don't want to miss this opportunity. This is a chance for a once in a lifetime to come and." Um, do some pads and then at the end of the pad session I asked him oh would you like to move around for a little bit he said oh the back's a bit stiff but I'm um, sure so we um, we did a, a round it was just fun there was no it was just it was just fun and then um, I asked him if I could put it on YouTube and he goes yeah no problem I've been in the limelight since I was a kid so I, I, I go for it and then uh, it's the only video I had where I've never seen so much hate uh, people on YouTube, their comments are just ruthless. Yeah. It's funny. You have the, your Instagram comment people, you have your Facebook comment people, <laughs> then you have your YouTube people. Yeah, yeah, your YouTube different. people are just, just vicious because there's no, I don't know. There's, Transparency. There's, there's no backlash. There's yeah. no, this crazy. And then that, all these people are thinking, oh, Joe Rogan, who are you to come in on people's fighting skills when look at you doing pads? But no one, no one knows he had a bulging disc. Yeah. So for everyone that's that's talking crap, um, I, 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 I always <laughs> say though, you can always judge a person by what they comment on. If they comment on YouTube, don't hold them in that much regard. I always say that. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> don't, not in their videos. Their videos we ask our, our <laughs> listeners to comment. But you know, like a standard fight video, like you're saying, people who rip people on that, you know, get a life, man. You know, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. And so it's such a funny thing how social media the people get so brave, and then you see them in real you see them in real life, and they're like the, your biggest fan and want a photo and want to shake your hand. So you put them behind a computer screen, and it's all of a sudden they're like, oh, and they're ten foot tall, and they're all of a sudden they're the next came Velasquez, and it's like, hang on a second, you're that little guy that I met at the shops that, that had your tail between your legs and couldn't even talk properly because you were studying too much. <laughs> We, we said we'd let you go, but there was one more question regarding to what you were talking about, so I'll go really quickly. How did that friendship with Joe Rogan start? How did that actually begin? Uh, just through Twitter. Um, lots of people were inundating in his inbox saying, you've got to get John Wayne on your podcast. And then um, one day I woke up and just cruising through Twitter, and um, there was a message from Joe saying, if John Wayne ever comes to America, he's more than welcome to come on my show. And I said, like, holy crap. <laughs> So uh, I inboxed him straight away. I said, oh, Joe, you probably don't know me, but my name's John Wayne. Um, is there any, ch any rumours that this is true? He goes, yeah, I'd love to have you on. I said, if I book my ticket for, for say, le next week, is it okay? And he said, yeah, sure. Just give me a date and a time and we'll do it. And then, um, yeah, from there, it's just been, uh, it's been crazy. So, and then we did the second one after my Cosmo fight a few months later. Uh, and then the very next day, he sent me a tweet saying, you're the number one podcast in America today. Everyone's listening Crazy. to your story. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, holy crap. And then uh, he gave me tickets to the Ronda and Holly fight. And then after the event, uh, he said, oh, let's go grab something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. Let's go grab a steak. So we jumped in a limo together and we hung out with my daughter, uh, who was only like 12 at the time, 12 or 11. So, um, yeah, he's just, just the, the man. He's such a cool guy.